hello now we are going to move the next module that is module number six that is absorption costing and marginal costing absorption costing and marginal costing there are two concepts for the calculation of a costing for the manufacturing of a product especially the manufacturing of a product unit wise or if the company is manufacturing a several number of products then they need to calculate the cost of the particular product on the basis of any one of this method maybe absorption costing or a marginal costing there are many topics to be covered under this chapter like an introduction meaning and definition is as usual absorption costing then the difference between the absorption costing and the marginal costing then the pro forma of a marginal costing and absorption costing reconciliations of absorption costing and marginal costing principles features and advantages and disadvantages of a marginal costing then the break even point break even chart contributions fixed cost and the variable cost profit volume ratio that is pv ratio mos margin of safety key factor or limited factor and cvp analysis these are the topics to be covered under this particular module so that means there are many topics to be covered in this this chapter let's begin with the introduction of the same here the cost that vary with a decision should only be included in the decision analysis that means when the cost has been varied according to the decisions it would be considered under this particular part of calculations for so many decisions that involves relatively small variations from existing practices and or are for relatively limited period of time fixed costs are not relevant to the that means the fixed costs are stagnant up to a certain limitations of the period and that's why which would not be affected much in the case of a manufacturing of units as well as the cost is not right this is because either fixed costs tend to be impossible to alter in short term durations for the managers are reluctant to alter them for the short term concerns so in that case the amount of fixed cost is actually very much concerned for the short term period this is a technique where only the variable costs are considered while computing the cost of a product so in this matter the variable cost is very much important the perception of marginal cost has been borrowed from economic theory so basically the marginal costing is based on economic formulas in economics marginal cost is an incremental cost that means the cost has been changed according to the change of output so it is considered as the addition to the total cost which result from the production of one more unit of output so it becomes a change automatically when the output is actually changed by a one unit according to the perception of a marginal cost it requires a true understanding of a various classes of cost and their rela relation with the changes in the level of activity so in the case of the cost structure has been changed according to the various level of activity has been changed thus marginal costing is a costing method in which only variable costs are accumulated and cost per unit is ascertained only on the basis of variable cost that means the marginal cost is calculated only on the basis of variable cost if it is change in the variable cost marginal cost is varied so it can be called direct costing differential costing incremental costing or it considers that the comparative costing also here the part of the marginal costing has become a, based on a variable costing the variable cost includes materials labors and any part of expenses which are incurred directly for the manufacturing of product and it always change when when the production has become a change by the increasing the one unit or decreasing of one unit now moving to the next part that is meaning and definition of a marginal costing marginal costing it's actually a differences between the fixed cost and the variable cost 
it is conventionally classified that means the whatever the amount of variable cost would be considered for the calculation of a marginal costing in fixed cost also it would be considered but that would be find out only in case of the amount has been realized at the particular time of what amount of profitability after the contribution has been derived so the marginal cost of a product is its a variable cost this is normally includes directly labor cost direct materials direct expenses and the variable part of other overheads it means that the amount of variable expenditures are included for the calculation of a marginal costing according to cima terminology marginal costing is defined as ascertainment of marginal cost and effect on profit of changes in volume or type of output by a differentiating between the fixed cost and variable cost so here the ultimately this is a differences of a variable cost and fixed cost nothing other than that so need to identify which are the variable cost would be considered for the calculation of marginal cost and which are the fixed cost would not be affected directly in case of a marginal cost calculations see here marginal cost can be formally defined like this accounting system in which variable costs are changed and find out the charges of cost units and the fixed cost of the period are written off in full against the aggregate contribution so that means the whatever the amount of total contribution was there that the fixed cost has been charged against the total contribution this is a special value for a decision making this is all about a decision making perceptions it means this marginal cost would be helpful to take a decisions on the basis of the total amount of contribution has been derived so theory of a marginal costing may therefore be understood in the two steps then the first step is suppose if i want to take an example here in case the volume output is increased the cost per unit is normally circumstances has been reduces how it would be applied see here in case of the marginal costing in case the suppose the your value volume of output output has been increased then it works reverse that the cost per unit would goes down how it works i'll tell you suppose if i'll take an example the 100 units manufactured and the total cost was rupees 5000 so in this regard the cost per unit cpu it comes to 50 rupees cost per unit is rupees 50 now see here if i'm going to increase the units manufactured from 100 units to 101 units then the units is increased one but the costing is from 5000 to approximately 25 rupees has been increased for the manufacturing of one unit it comes to 5025 so if you are going to see here the earlier the cost per unit was rupees 50 but then the after the increasing of one unit your cost per unit has been increased only 25 rupees what was your cpu earlier that is 50 rupees per unit now how much is actually increased 25 rupees per unit so this is a one example now see here the another example is if an increase in output is more than one the total increase in the cost divided by the total increase in output will give the average marginal cost so that means here if you want to find out the average margin this is an average marginal cost but if you want to find out the average marginal cost in this case that would be also little different then the thing is to be necessary to be find out that the example is here it was taking in changes of one unit right but now i am going to take in another example in case of the some more units more than one units has been changed then what would be the reflection of the costing see here then in case of another example that the suppose 1000 units is manufactured and from 1000 units to increase a 1050 units so what would be the change let's see in case here for the 1000 units the manufacturing total cost would be around that is uh, you can say that is around 1500 rupees 
Suppose in case of 1500 rupees has been the manufacturing cost. Now from 1000 to 1050 units the total amount of cost has been changed. Uh, it's around 1700 rupees. Now see here what would be the changes. Then the find out the changes the formula is additional cost divided by additional unit. Additional cost divided by additional units. Here if you are going to see the cost per unit is 1.5. That means the amount of cost per unit that is rupees 1.50. But in case of this if you want to find out the how many differences that 50 units is the difference. How much amount of the cost is difference that's 200 rupees. So in case of that additional cost was 200 and the amount of unit has been increased 50. So the cost per unit was 4 rupees per unit. This is an example. So in this case the amount of cost per unit has been changed. The ascertainment of marginal cost based on the classification and the segregations of cost into fixed and variable cost. In order to understand the marginal costing technique, it is essential to understand the meaning of a marginal cost. Now what is the meaning of marginal cost? See, the marginal cost means the cost of marginal or last unit produced, it is also defined as the cost of one more unit to be produced besides the existing number of units manufactured. So this is what all about the part of the changes of the marginal cost. See for an example, in case if a company manufacturing a product X, if the company manufacturing a product X and that X products has been manufactured at the cost of rupees 500 at the cost of rupees 500 now company is going to increase one unit and they manufacture x plus one for that their costing is also changed and comes to 540 rupees so see here the company increased one unit that is x plus one and because of that uh, the that manufacturing uh, volume of output is increased the cost is also increased by rupees 40. So here the changes if you find out which is the marginal cost. The marginal cost is 40 rupees. Similarly if the production is actually goes down instead of the x plus 1 in case of its x minus 1 the cost may be reduced from 500 to whatever 470, 460 whatever. The difference it comes the 40 rupees is marginal cost has been reduced. In that sense the marginal cost varies directly with the volume of production and the marginal per unit so that the marginal cost varies directly with the volume of production and marginal cost per unit it remains same so whatever the changes has occurred in case of an increase by one unit or a decrease by one unit the marginal cost per unit is remains same marginal costing technique has given birth to a very useful concept of contribution because of the contribution is a main important thing for the calculation of marginal cost where the contribution is given by sales revenue less variable cost so whatever the revenue has been raised from the sales would be deducted and consideration the and amount of variable cost has been deducted from the total revenue or a total value of sales the difference it's called a contribution contribution may be defined as a profit before the recovery of a fixed cost it means the amount of fixed cost has been deducted from the contribution not along with the variable cost at earlier so the fixed cost would not be important role in the calculation of a marginal cost thus contribution goes towards the recovery of recovery of a fixed cost and profit and that's why it is equal to fixed cost plus profit so that's why the formula of contribution is that contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit fixed cost plus profit so ultimately this contribution is carrying two things fixed cost as well as profit in case a firm neither makes a profit nor suffer a loss then in that case the contribution will only just a fixed cost then the case is different that the contribution is equal to fixed cost and this is a situation of break even point 
so this is the very important part the contribution as such the amount of changes is occurred that the contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit and the contribution is equal to fixed cost in case of fixed cost and contributions remain same the situation would be the break even point now moving to the next point that is absorption costing here the marginal costing and absorption costing is a two different technique two different methods for the calculation of cost structure as i already mentioned earlier the manufacturing units are generally uh, obtained any one of the suitable method for their units marginal costing we understood now we are trying to understand the next is absorption costing absorption costing is a conventional technique of ascertaining the cost why it's a conventional technique because of it's a systematic technique to determine the cost of the units where all the type of cost which are directly incurred for the manufacturing of product would be considered under this technique it is a practice of charging all cost whether variable or fixed for the process of a manufacturing of a product it's also considered a part of full costing technique in this technique of costing cost is made up the direct cost plus overhead cost absorbed on some suitable basis that means the all the type of overheads fix variable are to be added and find out the amount of total cost which are suitable for the particular manufacturing of unit here the cost per unit remains the same only when the level of output remains same if it is changed then this absorption cost per unit is also a change the change in the cost per unit with a change in the level of output so as the marginal costing methods and in the technique of marginal costing we have a base of basic objectives and basic understanding is in case of a change of uh, changing of output uh, the level of output is going to change automatically it reflects on your total marginal cost the same way here also in case of absorption costing if the level of output is changed automatically the absorption costing per unit has become a change the absorption costing technique poses a problem to the management in taking a managerial decision because the certain period of time they may not be having an idea that the how much amount of the cost has been incurred directly for the manufacturing of a product so sometimes the managers may not be in a position to take a simple and enough decision for the direct cost and the variable cost incurred for the product absorption costing is useful if there is only one product there is no inventory and overhead recovery rate is based on a normal capacity instead of actual level of activity so that's why this difference is concern of an absorption costing moving to the next point that is a difference between the marginal costing and absorption costing the basic difference i want to tell you that simple in marginal costing we are supposed to be consider only variable cost that means the direct material direct wages and the direct other expenses or overheads are to be considered under the marginal costing whereas in the absorption costing we are supposed to be consider both fixed cost as well as the variable cost for the calculation of a 